State public health officials are investigating each reported case to figure out whether or not they're confirmed to be vaping related, while the federal government's trying to figure out what's causing all of this. It's scary. It's really scary because, like I said, this is affecting young people and people are dying. Kentucky public health officials say they have received 25 reports in all of severe lung injuries. As they investigate, they have confirmed one to be vaping related, ruled out two, and determined four others are likely caused by vaping. The victim's vaping devices are being sent to the federal government. The CDC and the FDA are working very hard to try and determine what the specific cause of this um, lung injury is. And right now, we really don't know. Health officials say early culprits, such as THC for marijuana or vitamin E acetate, now appear less certain. It's very challenging. Um, and as a clinician, it's really hard because we like to we like to know what the science is. In the meantime, Kentucky is ramping up campaigns to encourage people to quit, including new digital marketing aimed at young people. I don't normally come to the commissioner's office on a daily basis, but I have been. Um, this is one of the top priorities of the cabinet and the Department for Public Health. Um, we're taking it very seriously. One survey found only 7% of tobacco and vaping product users knew about an existing program, Quit Now Kentucky. What I will say is that our quit resources are somewhat underutilized. We have free tobacco help for any Kentuckian. Um, we have telephone counseling. We have text messaging. We have a website support. So there's a lot of help out there. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.